All right, hello and welcome to Mad Max. I've been looking forward to this game for a really long time. I heard it, uh, it's like a really, really good game. Um, I've played a little bit of this already, but uh, I haven't played too far. I only got to when you get nitrous on the car. But uh, yeah, so there's that. And uh, let's get started, shall we? This game uses an auto save feature. Got it. All right, got all my stuff. New game, auto save slot one. Yes, sir. -y. I'm gonna stay quiet for this cutscene. Witness me. Like in the new movie. Oh shit. He was one such man, one who had lost all over and over, and to this he had lost his sanity. His was a never ending journey away from the phantoms of his past. He believed he could silence the cacophony in his mind and find peace beyond a place he called. The planes of silence. He now had the vehicle, the weapons, the provisions, and the fortitude. He only needed the fuel. And here, there was but one place to go for fuel. Gas town. Gas town. You've hunted well. Here's the fox who thought he'd plunder from Scabra Scrotus. Not the dog. And there it was. Intro to Mad Max. Ah oh, man, right through the head. I want someone to tell me what is the soul of a man. I'm going to ask a question. Answer if you can. Will anyone here tell me what is the soul of a man? This setback would not stop him. He would have his peace, even if it meant another war. And war was coming. 
legacy had created a mortal enemy. And boom, we're in the game. So, basically, this Mad Max game has uh, uh, elements of the new Mad Max Fury Road movie, and uh, it also has some elements of like the older ones. Like, um, I think this Mad Max character right here is based off of uh, the Mel Gibson Mad Max and not the Tom Hardy one. But uh, everything else in the game is like based off of Fury Road, like the War Boy, the War Boys, the uh, insignias that they have um and a bunch of other stuff i could probably point out later uh this is a pretty cool uh mechanic they have here in order to uh get health or restore more health you gotta get water and you put it into this thing you hold up to use you drink it up drink it up the dog has led me right so far yep gotta find it now you can uh no you can't sprint yet still the dog got caught in a trap. I know you. Yeah, I spied you in the long lookers. They left you for the blowflies, and they snatched your ride. And now you'll be looking to snatch it back. That's what the prophecy says. You're the driver. You're the driver. That's right. And Chumbucket is your man. Yeah, I'm your man. Yeah, yes, I am. See, I have a vehicle that can take you to your car. I do say. That's right. She's not running now. Sorry for that. I came here for the part. You see, I'm a black finger. I can make it work again. And I, I think you do too. It's gonna need an overhaul. Don't go stray. No, I won't. I know you'll find me and dismantle me. I know. Chum Bucket's not stupid. So that's Chum Bucket. He's basically going to help us and be like our buddy partner kind of thing going on. He's gonna He's like our uh, he's like our right hand man in this game. And he's gonna always be there for us. He's uh later on we find a car and he's gonna be our second driver like that. So there you go. Now I gotta speak with him. Oh, I can fix it, but I do my best work in my sanctum. Push the car. I need wire to fix my buggy. But then I can show you where they took the black on black. The black on black. Where do I find wire? Up that path! Uh, but before you go, grab some grit, Saint. You must be running on fumes. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so right here is some food that we can eat. The Dinky D from like the second movie, second Mad Max movie. And that's what their uh, chum bucket's yeah, calling the dog now, so. Uh, sure beats eating maggot gruel. Maggot gruel. So let's see over here. I think there's something right here. Uh, oh wait, no, yeah, never mind, that's for later. So now we can sprint with R2, and the controls are a little bit wonky on here. R2 is to sprint, L2 is to jump, like that, and you don't even jump that high. Um, for me, circle is to, um, it, it was, uh... Oh, we got that, man. Anything for me? Yeah, and you could collect loot from people. So there's that. You can hold X to climb. Ooh. I'm gonna have to wait until we fight this guy. But the thing is, I really love the fighting style and like the combat in this game. It's it's awesome, just <laughs> I just wanted to say that. It's you'll see in a bit. So he just dropped someone. I could use a shotgun, but I'm not gonna. So this is a war pup. Ooh. The fighting is awesome. There's that. Can we loot him? No, he didn't drop anything. Unless I'm... yeah. 
It's awesome. It, it's basically kind of like the uh, Batman Arkham Knight or Batman Arkham series for fighting. Oh man, it's it's one of the best. Yeah, square to strike, triangle to parry, and um, the little yellow like circle that kind of gets smaller is your parry like um, your parry timer. It, kind of like a timer, but if you hit it at the exact when the yellow hits like the outside of the triangle, then you get a perfect parry. So I kind of like how they did that. Boom, like that. There you go. That's a perfect parry. When the circle, the yellow circle gets all the way down to the triangle. But it goes, but if it goes too far, then you, then you get hit. Like that, that's another perfect parry. And there's more people over there. Wait, did these guys drop anything? One, no. Another perfect parry. I'm just awesome at this game right here, at the combat at least. It's easy. Ooh, look at that. And now we can collect this guy's loot. He's got some scrap. Uh, there's a wire right there, but since I've already played this, I know where all the loot is. So there's one and there's another one right here. His location info. And this is kind of hard to get. Ah, there we go. The first time I played this, it was like, oh man, how the hell do I get up here? But then you just gotta do that. And now we collect this, the wire, and the wire I think is used to like tape up uh, your dog, Dinky D. <clears throat> so now we gotta go back. So far, as much as I've played, I'm I'm like loving this game. This game is awesome. I don't know what's like. You are not ready. Why? So that is a guy that we meet later on. But uh, he's a good guy, so he's not like ominous or whatever or dangerous. But anyways, I I don't know what happens after the uh. Not <coughs> Ugh. Yeah, he's leaking bad. Um. I don't know anything that happens after the nitrous, that's like all I got to until the game started saying uh, download the game some more or wait until it's fully installed, so I'm like, ah, I'll just wait until I start recording. So I deleted that save and now I made a new one. Oh, here I heard the bloody sounds of a smackdown. You're not leaking, are you? Tell me you're not. Huh? Praise me! Praise me! <laughs> Chum Bucket's a funny, funny guy. Now we got Dickie D. Yeah, we gotta go to his buggy. Follow Chum to his buggy. Chum Bucket's a cool guy. Even though Max uh, can be a little bit rude to him sometimes, but... He's trustful, you know, he's, uh, he's reliable. Put the dog in the back of the buggy. Easy dog. Easy. <laughs> Rev it up and go, Saint. The buggy's humble, but she can haul. So yeah. In this game, you can level up your car and stuff, and um. Jesus. So as I was saying, you can uh, level up your, your car. Oh man, the thing is this buggy is like, uh, anyways, timer's done. So, like, favorite, subscribe, do what you gotta do. Stay tuned for some more Mad Max. I'm Beast and I'm out. See ya.